Good morning, I'm Julie Bedance here with your top stories this Thursday, December 3rd, 2009. U.S. allies are praising President Obama's new plan to escalate the war in Afghanistan with a timeline for withdrawal. And the Secretary General of NATO said they will show their support by sending at least an additional 5,000 new troops. But that does not include pledges from Germany or France, leaving the total of new international troops just short of the 7,000 goal set by President Obama. But testifying on Capitol Hill yesterday, Defense Secretary Robert Gates said he has received private commitments for up to 2,000 more foreign troops, but their governments were not yet ready to make the formal announcement. And at the White House, the president is refocusing his attention on the economy by holding a job summit today in light of the worst job statistics in this country since World War II. The national unemployment rate has topped 10 percent in recent weeks, but that isn't the whole story. The Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates that combined with the number of people out of work and too discouraged to look or working part time while they look, the rate reaches nearly 18 percent. And scientists will soon have access to 13 embryonic stem cell lines for their use in their medical research. The National Institute of Health okayed the cell lines that came from embryos donated under, quote, ethically sound informed consent processes. Scientists say the development gives them the means to work with the best materials for researching disease. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates.